Hello everyone, I'm Jim with CAD Dimensions, and today we're going to explore how to check in a file that another person has checked out when they may not be available. This tech tip came from a customer I worked with who had an employee who left the company with files checked out on their computer. My customer wanted to attempt to recover the files along with any changes that were made since it had been checked out. Because they wanted to keep those changes and they had access to the employee's workstation, I skipped the undo checkout option so we wouldn't cause any changes to be lost. So this screenshot shows my assembly model with a piece of hardware added. This was done after it was checked out as Jim and saved, but not checked back in. And this model is really just a blank assembly file with an empty sub-assembly and part files I created so you could easily see the DIN rail part, which is going to represent the change Jim made after checking out the file. So, to begin, I had the customer log on to the employee's computer as the PDM admin, and here in Explorer, we can see I'm logged in as the admin, and the part is checked out by Jim. Next, we're going to check in that file. So I right click, select check in. And it prompts me that it's checked out by another user. Yes, we want to check it in anyways. So now we can see it's not checked out. And if I open the file, we can see the DIN rail is still in the file. So I suggest trying this exercise on your own so you're comfortable with the process, you know how to recreate it. It gives you an extra tool in your toolbox. To recreate the process, log in as a user, check out a part, make a change, save it, but don't log, check it back in. Log out as the user, log back in as the admin, check in the file, and look to see if your change was retained. I hope you find this helpful. Thanks for watching.